Hello everyone, I am your math teacher Priyanka from the CPS and I hope everyone is fit and fine at home. Okay, okay children, so today we will discuss about uh, the new topic that is your highest common factor. And this is the short form of your that one highest common factor that we can say HCF. So how you have to find out the HCF of the any particular two numbers, any three numbers means like that. So firstly we will discuss about that what is the meaning of the highest common factor. The highest common factor or we can say HCF of two or more given number is the greatest number, is the greatest number which divides all the given number, which divides all the given numbers exactly leaving no remainder leaving no remainder okay take care of this thing leaving no remainder means uh, okay we can take any example with this example it will clear to you here we are talking about the two or more given numbers see here just imagine we are having two or more numbers so we firstly we will take with the two numbers here we are having the two numbers 12 and the 16 two or more given number and is the greatest number greatest number any greatest number which divides that means which divides all the given numbers which divides all the given numbers exactly without leaving no remainder okay see here you can see is uh, check it uh, 4 is the greatest number whenever it will divided by 12 4 3 is the 12 and what is the remainder is coming so remainder coming 0 that means no remainder and whenever 4 is also divided by 16 4 4 is the 16 and here also remainder is here 0 so here you can see 4 is the greatest number also means highest number also and common also common also highest also and this is the factor also so this is the greatest number which divides both of these numbers exactly without leaving without leaving remainder means remainder is coming zero okay so that means we can say that uh, uh, 4 is the hcf of these two particular numbers hcf is here 4 but how you have to find out the hcf we are having the two methods means how to you can find out the hcf of any particular numbers so first first one method is here for uh, method is of yours hcf by common division method which method common division method so here we are having the rule of that number firstly you just have to arrange the given numbers means like this row wise and the, uh, sorry co column wise and the row wise like that so you have to make a lines and afterwards you have to arrange your numbers arrange the given numbers here we are having the numbers 44 and the 132 like this you have to arrange the numbers afterwards see why the given numbers by the lowest common primer here we are talking about that lowest and that is common also and prime also means you just have to divide the numbers by the lowest common prime number take care about this thing prime number we are here we are talking about that prime number and that also must be lowest again you just have to divide the lowest common prime number Again also you just have to divide it by the lowest common prime numbers and further you just have to continue this process as long as the numbers can be divided by the common prime number common prime numbers and afterwards the product of these devices whatever the devices are coming and their product and their product is called their the required hcf means here you can see according to that rule we will solve this question so firstly you just have to arrange the numbers we have arranged the numbers and afterwards what we are talking about we are talking about that divide the numbers by the lowest common prime number by the lowest common this is your lowest also number this number is your lowest also common also and the prime also 2 is prime also lowest also common also when 2 is divided by 44 we will get it 22 and when 2 is divided by 132 that time also we will get it 66 66 and remainder is also coming 0, zero and ultimately we can say that 22 and 66 is your quotient okay and afterwards again we have to divide that by the lowest common prime number again you just have to start it with the two common prime number whenever 2 is divided by 22 we will get it 11 and when 2 is divided by 66 what we will get it we will get it 33 and as long as we have to continue this process so again you just to have to check it what, what is the common prime number out of these uh, of these both numbers which one is your common prime number that is your 11 whenever 11 is divided by 11 what we got it 1 and when 11 is divided by 33 what we got it 3 
and afterwards what i said these are the quotients are coming okay so take care of this thing these are your quotients and these are your divisors okay these are divisors okay and the product of these divisors product of these divisors these divisors product 2 multiply 2 multiply 11 product of these divisors is the required hcf that is here 2 2 is the 4 4 11 is the 40 4 this is your required hcf like this you have to find out the hcf with the help of the common division method no need to write that rule this is only for your understanding you just have to solve it up to here like this only just divide uh, find out the hcf with the help of the common division method but we can also find out the hcf with the help of one more method that method is called the hcf by the continued division method which method that is your continued division method and here also we are having the some of the rules how you can find out the hcf with the help of this one divide take care of this thing divide the larger number by the smaller number larger number by the smaller number first step is here uh, divide the larger number by the smaller number second step is here divide the first divisor by the first remainder first divisor by the first remainder first remainder okay first remainder afterwards divide the second divisor by the second remainder continue till you find a divisor that leaves no remainder It means further you have to continue up to that time whenever you are not getting the remainder is here zero okay so with the help of example it will more clear to you so here we are having a example find the hcf of 18 and 30 18 and 30 with the help of the continued division method which method we are talking about that continued division method so firstly what we said divide the larger number by the smaller number so here we have divided larger number by the smaller number c larger number divide the larger number larger number is here 30 and smaller number is here 18 divide the larger number by the smaller number 18 once the 18 so afterwards what we will have to do we have to do that subtraction afterwards divide the first divisor by the first remainder first divisor by first remainder okay first remainder is your 12 divide the first divisor by the first remainder first divisor divided by that first remainder that is also your 12 ones are 12 further divide the second divisor by that second remainder this is your second remainder and this is your second divisor this is your divisor these are your remainders are coming and again it will change into the divisor okay means again it will change your firstly it was the remainder and afterwards it changed into the divisor so again further here this is your remainder and afterwards this is this one will be changed it into the here 12 we will write it here 6 to the 12 and here you can see check it here we are getting the remainder zero so we have to stop it here we have to stop it here because we will get it the remainder zero so what is your hcf hcf is here 6 Okay, here but here we are having the two numbers. But whenever sometimes we are having that three numbers, find the HCF of eighty one, two hundred forty three, and seven hundred and twenty nine. That time what you have to do it. Firstly, you have to go with that first two numbers. So divide the uh, larger number by the smaller number. Here you can see we get the remainder zero. And afterwards, what is the HCF of first two numbers? First two numbers HCF of first. two numbers what is the hcf of first number two numbers and afterwards uh, you have to uh, go with that next one numbers whatever the hcf you got it from the first two numbers and go with that the third number and again you will get it the two numbers and um, afterwards do that uh, divide uh, same like that only means you, you know very well how to find out the hcf of the two numbers and like that you can divide it and here also you can see means uh, with the uh, we we got the remainder zero so what is the hcf of these three numbers that is here 81 hcf is here 81 Okay, means it's not a necessary. Children means you go have to go with this method, and if you have to go with this method, means twice is here. With any method you can solve it. Means uh, uh, with continue. Oh, sorry, with continue division also you can solve it. With common division also you can solve it. But if sometimes in exam it's mentioned you have to solve it with the common division method and continue division method. That time it's necessary. Means you have to go with that particular method. Means we can also find the HCF of eighteen and 
1830 with the help of the common division also like that 1830 we can also find it like that also and uh, 44 and 132 uh, hcf we can also find it like that uh, with the help of the continued division answer will be the same answer will not change in your answer variation will not become okay children and I hope everyone understood how to find out the HCF with the help of the common division method and with the help of the continued division method. Okay, take care children. Have a good day.